All right, we're going to have a little video here of the governor I just finished making, which is very similar to the farm boy governor. On this side, you can see the flywheel, and it's been modified. It has a slot there and a slot there, and the governor weights extend through the face of the flywheel, and there's a spring that holds them together. On the other side of the flywheel, we have a hinge mechanism. There's a pivot point on that side and a pivot point there. And I don't know how well you can see it, but there are arms that come in and the arms connect to holes in that sliding sleeve. Now the end of those little rods that go into the sliding sleeve have a ball shape to them and as the governor engages the weights will fly out, the arms will pivot and it will slide this piece with the groove in it back and forth and that's what actually operates the uh, lever that prevents the valve, the exhaust valve from closing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my lathe up and you're going to watch that gap right there because that's the easiest place to see it happening. As those weights fly apart from centrifugal force, that gap will change. So we'll start our trusty lathe. And watch the gap. See how that gap gets smaller as I rev the speed up? And when I let the speed off, the gap opens up again. So it's the movement of that sleeve on the left hand side that we're really interested in. Because the lever goes from that through a pivot to a piece which prevents the exhaust valve from closing and that's the same principle that all hit and miss engines run on so I hope you've seen that I hope you found that somewhat interesting 